Welcome back, everybody. Today, I want to do something. I want to talk about Homefront The Revolution. This game is going to be coming out pretty soon, and oddly, I haven't heard much of anything about this game since it actually got announced. And I think it's kind of strange because the game actually looks really, really good, and it's an open world game. So let's get right into the video, guys. This is just going to be a simple video on everything that you need to know about Homefront The Revolution. Let's get right into the video. So this game is an upcoming open world first person shooter game that is developed by Dam Buster Studios and it's going to be coming out May 17th, 2016 in the United States and I think May 20th everywhere else. But this game is going to be set in 2029. Now if you don't know that there was actually a previous game just called Homefront and this game is going to be set two years after the events of that game and four years into the invasion of the United States by the Greater Korean Republic, the GKR as they call them. It's going to be taking place in Philadelphia. They call it New Philadelphia, and it is an extremely heavily policed area, okay? And civilians are living under these Koreans' power, and they really have to do everything that they say. Now, Philadelphia is going to be split up into three different districts. There's the green zone, the yellow zone, and the red zone. It's not really original, but I'm going with it. And obviously the green zone is the home base zone for you. It's the strongest area for you. The invaders are most comfortable here and like the area is very well put together. It has running water and stable power basically. The place is where everything is kind of organized. Then you get into the yellow district. The yellow district or the yellow zone is kind of like the hood so to say. I'm doing air quotes right now you can't see me but the hood air quotes of the entire game of Philadelphia. This is where most of the people live in this game. Patrols happen frequently and it's kind of like a very difficult and negative area. I'm assuming this is going to be the area where you'd get into the most trouble with just the local people. Probably someplace that you have to go in quite a bit because it is a huge part of Philadelphia. And then we're going to talk about the red zone here. The red zone is kind of like the bombed out suburban area of Philadelphia where you just don't go. It's full of rubble and broken stuff and probably a lot of weird animals but it's also where the resistance is its strongest because you're kind of getting pushed out of these nice areas they don't really like you you got to live out in this crappy desert exploded wasteland stuff so that's how the that's how the game is laid out it's laid out into those three districts or zones so the purpose the general general purpose if you break it down boil it down of the game is that in this open world you have to go scavenge parts from buildings, cars, places, stashes, you gotta modify weapons and equipment to kind of form your alliance. You're just trying to kill off this police power because they are just being completely unreasonable and you don't agree with what is really going on in this area, let alone the entire United States. Now when this video is going to be getting released, it's February 10th today and I know it's really late, I usually don't post this late, but uh, tomorrow, February 11th, they're actually having a beta. They're going to be holding a beta on the Xbox One. So if you're on the Xbox One, jump on this tomorrow. It's going to be something that you're be you're going to be able to download. I thought I'd just throw that in there for a little bit of information. And something that I really do enjoy about what they put into this game is the modified weapons. I mean, I've talked about this before in other games, but modified weapons are where it's at for you to be able to personalize the weapons and get more in-depth in the game, get more invested. Nobody wants to be handed an AR and say, go shoot somebody, and this is the only weapon you're getting. The modification of the weapons is something that personalizes the game, and it really brings people in. And unlike the first Homefront, this one features a competitive multiplayer mode. There's not too much information on that. I'll let you go Google that yourself, because I don't want to make this video too long, so I'll let you guys know that you can go search up on the multiplayer. There's not that much information on it, but there is a competitive multiplayer mode in Homefront The Revolution. But you know what guys, that's what I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like, leave a subscription, it really does help me out. I will see all of you later.